another one on one FM here, and welcome to the last episode of season one of the Western Superman save. Just showing you the league table at the moment. We have got an outside chance of getting to the playoffs with two games remaining. Three points behind Woking. Both played the same amount of games, but we've got a Torquay, Eastbourne Borough, Chippingham, and Woking to all drop points in a both at least one game for us to get promotion in the playoffs and even then it's an outside chance but Hemmer Hempstead who are 19th and then Dulwich Hamlet who are top so if we're going to win promotion this is how you want to do it but anyway just before getting into these games last two of the season I'll show you what happened between that St. Albans and Willstone last episode went on a pretty decent run to be fair only two draws on one loss with the rest of them being wins starting off with a 1-0 win against Woking Eli Phipps getting the goal then a 3-1 win over Chippenham Jamie Lucas Alex Byrne and Eli Phipps getting three goals in a 3-1 win over Chippenham 2-0 win over Torquay Tristan Plummer and Alex Byrne getting the goals 1-0 defeat to Hungerford who are probably the disappointing game of the whole lot and especially because Hungerford are probably the worst team we've played as well yeah. somehow we lost 2-0 to them two goals in the first 10 minutes of Hungerford and that was basically the whole story come back to fight over Chelmsford with a 2-1 win Jimmy Lucas getting both pretty early on 2-1 2-2 draw against Welling Tristan Plummer and Eli Phipps getting the goals 4-0 win over Concord, pretty uh, convincing to be honest and probably could have got more. Jordan Edwards finally gets off and running from his loan spell. Eli Phipps double and a Mitchell Clark own goal. Another of the four game winning streak, four game streak where we didn't concede. Eli Phipps, Jamie Lucas and Navi Diallo from the bench securing the three points at Dartford. Double 3-0 win, Eli Phipps and double and Jamie Lucas getting the goal. And the last game we just played just two days ago, probably should have rotated the side or at least um, sent the players on rest in the day between us. But 8% he'll do and a nil no draw was in that one. So anyway, Hammer Hempstead and Dulwich Hammer to end the season. This is a side that we're going to probably play for both games if we can. Eli Phipps and Jamie Lucas up front. Swallow, Edwards, Kane and Plummer. Chistia, Bauer, Morris Edwards, Williams and Luke Pennell. If you're wondering why I'm playing Edwards and Morris Edwards. Morris Edwards won the games and I for some reason promised him to do that. In a press conference, not really trying to mention it. And Edwards has played pretty well. 7.28 in the last couple of games. And that 14 passing and 13 decisions just really helps us out a lot but anyway let's get into that game against I can't even remember you well then him I have to kick us off in the red kit we are in our traditional white kit a little bit weird since we're away but in our white kit a little bit weird free kick for Hemel Hempstead towards Nova Williams Parks Roberts for Hemel Hempstead I mean if we're gonna win either games this is probably the be the one Kane to Plummer, forward towards Lucas, who's some reason on a yellow card. Lucas on goal, and Allen heads out for a corner. She's a bit of a corner taker, so we should have a decent corner taker on him. Ben Swallows usually quite good at crossing towards Tr Tristan Plummer, and doesn't quite get on the end of it, but pushes his opponent instead. Free kill from Hemel Hempstead. He's literally just been all them in the highlights. We have one highlight. But not really anything there. Ball away from Bauer. Phillips to De Silva on the right hand side. Back to Parks. Hammer him sort of running things. Back to De Silva. Not really creating chances though. Probably shouldn't say that while they've got the ball. Doily. Long shot. Luke Pennell. I thought he could have caught that. But I mean. Deal with it. And now corner. Deal with this. And we've got two on one up front. Not really great. Kane away. Phillips. Well. I don't know what I call him Phillips, it's Phipps. Swallow with a free kick. Silver way back to Phipps, to Plummer, to Edwards. 
Jordan Edwards has only played six goals this six games this season. The first two he was pretty awful, but the last four he has been awesome. Jordan Edwards, midfielder, and I love him. Free kick from Emerson Parks. A bit of a curler into the top corner. It doesn't quite curl enough. Western kick us off in the second half. Kane to Williams to Plummer. At the moment we are only one point ahead of behind Woking. Who are in the playoff spots at the moment. And now gone to... There's a couple of teams between us and them. So still got a bit of work to do if we are going to fight for that playoffs. But if we just came up with two wins, I'll be happy. Phipps, I mean Jordan Edwards. We we're gonna have to bring him in next season with this one. I know it's Hammer Hems that was supposed to beat them, but there's no other player that I've ever seen that takes a game by the scruff of the neck and just wins it. Go on assist so far. Pernell with a goal kick. Out right towards Tristan Plummer. Towards Lucas. Can Phipps get a second? Swallow. Shot. Pretty tame to be honest. Probably should have crossed it. He's a lot better at crossing than he is at um, shooting. Does have a crossing opportunity now. Cross and swallow. I mean, I said he was good at crossing. Second attempt. Bit better. Edwards. Can he get his third? Hits the post. I look like the keeper hit that at the post. Lund goes it away and Steer picks up the ball. Swallow on this left hand side. Free kick. Trip by Park. Goalkeeper by the Hammer Homes to keeper Allen towards Osborne. Rene Steers gonna win it just about. Swallow touch just about brings it in. Jacob Kane. A forward ball towards Jamie Lucas. Back towards Phipps. Allen in the Hammer Homes to the net. Can't quite keep it out. And Eli Phipps is 30th goal of the season. I mean, Jamie Lucas and Eli Phipps are the former front two of and basically any save I've ever done. Hammer Hempstead. And. Head in near post. Luke Pennell is well behind it. No problem for him. We're going to get a push for third. Looks like we might be. Phipps down to burn. Out just spot on this left hand side. Can you do one of his another trademark crosses? Jamie Lucas this time. He's got 14. Phipps has got 30. And when your front two are scoring like 44 goals. I mean... You can tell you're going to be in and around them playoffs. It was still a point off. Woking might even come down to goal difference, but a poor start in the season kind of might be hitting us in the back. Maybe next season we can kind of fight for that first um, playoff spot. Maybe even go for the title, but it's still talking a bit early. We've still got the rest of this season to deal with. Diallo towards Lucas. Can we get Phipps? He's 31st. And uh, no, he can't. <laughs> he does. I thought he'd just attempt to hit that keeper. He did, but he got the rebound. Western 5, Hammer Hempstead 0. I went to this game at the end of the last season with Western leading, and and let's just say it wasn't this emphatic. I mean, I th think Western won, but 5 0 was a bit. And there we are. 5 0 away win. I mean, we've literally played two games in three days and we've played well in both of them. Anyway, got two achievements thumping and parked the bus. I'm not sure that's a actual park the bus thing, but I think it's more of a clean sheet thing because that is. One, two, three, four, five games though conceding. Can we go up to the top of the league and not concede? Well, you're going to have to find out in about five days in game. Don't worry, I'm not going to let wait five days in real life just to play the last game this season. Just some bit of bad news. A director of football has informed me David Callow has announced he retired at the end of the season. Physio at the club, I think it's his daughter or his... I don't know what the relation is, but Amy Callow works here as well. Callow been head physio at Western Supermare since July 2008 and intends to retire on Monday, 27th of May 2019. After many years in the game, he feels it'd be time to call it a day. Sad to see him leave after being here for 11, 10, 11 years, but I suppose we're going to have to move on the best we can. 
Here we are then, last game of the season at home against top of the league. We scored five against the last team we played, even though they are not the best of sides. But might as well give them the same team a run out and see what I can do against the best team in the National South. Corner from Dulwich Hamlet. Basically a free header from Bird. A couple of players on the line. I think it was Steer and Pennell between them that couldn't quite keep it out. And why is there a massive car park? I don't actually. I've been to Western Stadium a couple times, and I don't actually remember them actually being a massive car park there. It's kind of a thing you would have noticed. Steer away towards the LA Phipps, kind of just not acknowledging that Dulwich Hamlet are actually tearing us apart. I mean, another attempt on target. 11 minutes in, and Pennell this time behind it. Throwing from Steer to Swallow to Kane. Back to Swallow, forward towards the LA Phipps. Not what gonna quite get there. Mason Clark pick up the pieces. Poor Dulwich Hammer out. Burge with time and space. Swallow forward to Jamie Lucas. That forward two has been pretty lethal and pass just behind him. Uh, Swallow on this left hand side cross. Burge away. Looks like they are well drilled side. Might be even a professional side, which we are not. Georgie you running out of our team and that is on target. I don't bet any money that had gone in. Phipps can't quite pick up the pieces. Burge, who's running the show for Dulwich Hamlet, back to McGowan. Pretty sure that's who he's pronouncing. Nichols, forward to Adeyemi. Morris Edwards away. Burge, probably not the best having two of our, well, inexperienced players. And I thought that shot was going wide, but it just cut into the top, net, the top of the net. And it looked like Luke Pennell thought it was going wide as well. I mean,. It's one of the goals you'd be tempted to look on 3D, but because against us, I'm not going to. Throw in from Steer. Bit of a poor throw in. It's amazing how many footballers can't actually throw it to their own teammates. Bow towards Lucas. I think he might be offside. He's not. Kane Edwards. Closing down is a bit too much for him. Morris Edwards back to uh, Jacob Kane. Tristan Plummer to Lucas. Back to Plummer. A little bit behind him, so he's got to be out of pieces. Plummer towards Kane. Back to Plummer, maybe? No, inside to Edwards. Kane, Plummer. Edwards. Phipps. Side netting. Here we are then, second half. I know it is top of the league, but we've at least got to put a fight against them. I mean, we put a fight against the League One side, sure, you, even if they are top of the league. Shouldn't be too hard. 718 attendance, pretty decent. And Ryan Burge. Running the midfield has just basically put Dodge Hamlet in that prime position for the three points. Throwing from Steer to Burn. We have made a couple changes. Not sure if that should come on yet. Jacob Kane in the box. I mean, inches wide. Inches, inches, inches. Jason Pope forward to in behind to Lucas. Shoot or square it. Square it is probably the better decision. Decided to shoot straight up poke. Couldn't quite poke it between them. <laughs> he got on 30 minutes left. Lucas to burn. Eli Phipps behind goal and he gets his 32nd of the season. 3 1. Konchesky with a throw in. Is that Paul Konchesky from Leicester? I mean. It actually is Paul Konchesky. He used to be at Leicester. Wow. From the Premier League to National League South. Even lower, actually, with Billericke. Wow. Anyway, that is the end of today's episode. The end of the season. And the end of the episode. So then, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Season 2. There is the league table. Ended up being quite a distance away from Woking, but only three divisions, well, three positions. Anyway, that is the end of today's episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.